This video will show you how to collect all information from a ship constructor project uh, related to parts and put it in an Excel file. Uh, so all attributes related to a part will be separate columns uh, from automatically inputted from the database. So first thing that you would do is just start uh, on a blank page in Excel. Uh, then you move to the data and then you have to uh, click from, from other sources and select a SQL server. Here you will be putting your server that has access to your ship constructor uh, database. So the server name, not the, the database name, so it's uh, just the server name and the instance without uh, the database name. Don't worry, well you'll have to log in uh, with your credentials. Here I'm just using my authentication, uh, Windows authentication. So here is where you select the project that uh, you would want. And then you can select any table that is in the list. Uh, it does not matter, we'll be changing that at a later time. From here you continue and you click finish or if you want to rename the connection that you uh, have, uh, that would be fine as well. From here you have to uh, click properties. Uh, and this is where the changes happen to uh, change the table that you select to the store procedure that you actually want. So if you go to definition and then in the command text uh, you can replace that with gen underscore sp bomb data get from all parts and as well as that you'll want to change this to SQL. Click OK and gives you a warning uh, which everything should be fine and then we're just inserting it in the current um, work worksheet uh, at the beginning of the first cell and depending on the project this might take uh, as as long as 45 minutes um, but most projects will finish within um, uh, probably around 30 seconds to uh, two to three minutes depending on how much information how many parts as well as uh, the number of user-defined attributes has a, a, a huge constraint on how long it actually takes. So as here it has the information that is uh, loaded uh, from the database uh, live. So it's not a direct link so you would have to refresh the database or refresh the connection uh, to get new updated information. And as you can see it has all the columns uh, of all the parts that you would want um, including piece type, stock name and uh, the drawing that it's located and you can use now in essence your SQL uh, mastery to get the information that you actually need from um, the database so if you want to generate reports or just to, to verify information uh, that will uh, work very easily in Excel. Uh, the only downfall really is the user defined attributes are going to be listed as identifiers rather than um, the name of the user to define attributes, but that can be managed by including a different table and, and linking it in.